Ken Wyatt has a fight on his hands if he's to hold his seat of Haslark in the Perth Hills at this year's poll. The marginal electorate changed hands between Labor and Liberal repeatedly prior to his 2010 election. But as Holly Edwards-Smith reports in this Battleground Breakdown report, Labor believes the seat is now back within its reach. Hasluck has a history of close calls and this year is set to be no different. At the 2010 election, Ken Wyatt won Hasluck by less than a thousand votes, becoming the first Indigenous Australian elected to the House of Representatives. He's held Hasluck for the past 12 years and at 69, he's not done yet. I want to do one more term and focus on finishing uh, the commitments I've made. This will be my final term. Labor's candidate Tanya Lawrence is attempting a second strike at politics, having fallen short at a 2018 state by-election. She's courting a voter base that traditionally looks to the Liberals, the business community, pointing to her history as manager at Woodside Petroleum. It's given me the insight to understand what are the business drivers that make a company succeed. Ken Wyatt is campaigning hard on local issues. And we've been fighting for more mobile phone towers in our areas, keeping Perth Hills pristine. They are the lungs of Perth. The Indigenous Australian Minister is a generally well-respected MP who tends to avoid the petty political brawling. Perhaps sensing that, Tanya Lawrence is looking to question the Prime Minister's character rather than Ken Wyatt's. What I hear from when I meet with people out and about every day is that they're sick of Scott Morrison, so my beef is with Scott Morrison. Mr Wyatt is a familiar name to those in Hasluck, so Tanya's task is to build her own recognition in the months ahead. Oh, I know Ken Wyatt, of course, OK. That's right, yeah, I know Ken, yeah. Ken, oh, Ken Wyatt, yes, of course I know Ken, yes. Have you heard of Tanya? No, I haven't heard of Tanya Lawrence. Never heard of her, no. Not really, no, no. It's unsurprising her social media branding is dominated by images of her alongside one of the most popular people in WA, Mark McGowan. Hasluck is the government's third most marginal seat in Western Australia and polling points to an uphill battle for the Liberals. I'll let people judge me for what I have done and achieved. And I just feel my community have been taken for granted for too long. WA's border postponement raises questions about if and how party leaders will be able to campaign in the state. I have tended to be a swimming, swinging voter in, in the past. Uh, at the moment I'm leaning towards the Morrison government. Uh, but I am open to ideas. Morrison has let us down, but I would not be voting Labor and looking at any of the tax changes. Not set on anything. I'm, I'm watching. Um, and the, I, I think what the uh, Liberals are doing is trying to scare everyone that Albanese will introduce death, de death taxes. And all I'm, all I'm saying is, go for it. Death, death duties are the, a great tax. It's been almost a year since Labor leader Anthony Albanese touched down in WA and even longer since the Prime Minister wandered out west. I am disappointed that we won't have leadership from other states and territories coming into WA out of the federal arena because ministerial colleagues do make a difference when people meet them. Meaning the on-the-ground work from these key candidates will be all the more critical in a large electorate with a small margin. Holly Edward-Smith, Sky News. Perth.